Hello everyone, welcome back to another SolidWorks lecture. So for this video, we're going to be going over how to uh, do a little bit of a mass analysis for our completed assemblies. So basically, if you're trying to find what the center of gravity is for your assembly, how would you go about doing that? So I've got my completed gearbox that we've worked on in previous few lectures. So if I wanted to find out the um, center of gravity, I would just come here to mass properties, and it would give me s some some values so uh, X Y and Z for where the center of mass is but what is that relative to so the center of gravity is calculated based upon the reference to this origin point so this origin point represents your zero 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 coordinate for your assembly so if I want to get a value that makes sense I need to constrain uh, my assembly uh, with respect to that origin. So right now my main box body was the first thing I brought in and it's gonna be fixed So if I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna unfix that I'm gonna float this assembly and I'm now going to constrain it to that origin. So I'm gonna go mate I'm gonna do a coincident mate origin and This point down here So I'll bring it in I'll lock it in place now I'm going to put in a few more mates to make sure that um, I'm um, parallel with respect to my uh, my planes. So I want to go parallel this to this one. Okay. Parallel this to this and parallel this to this so that makes sure that my my assembly is lying uh, even on my XYZ coordinate system and I'm also constrained to this origin point so the values that I get are now going to make more sense so now I come back up here to evaluate mass properties I'm going to get information that makes sense and it'll show you it'll show me right exactly where in my assembly my center of mass is. And I'll also be able to get uh, my principal axis of inertia, moments of inertia, and uh, surface area, volume, and mass. Same thing that you find for uh, a normal uh, part analysis. So that's going to do it for this lecture. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get more content like this. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.